what's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through My name is Avery, so happy to have you. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. It is currently Wednesday, no, it's Thursday morning. I am working from home today, so I was able to sleep in a little bit, but it's like 7.30ish, 7.45, I think. And I just did a form Sammy Clark workout. I did a full body like hit workout. I feel so good this whole week. I have done her strength workouts. So like Monday, I did a full body Tuesday I did arms, Wednesday I did lower body, and then today again I did full body hit, and just feels so good and strong to get back into it. And I actually have a discount code for you guys, so I'll put the link below, and you guys can use the code Avery for 25-ish percent off your membership, but that gives you a year-long membership for only $90, which is like kind of crazy, um, and I've been using, doing her workouts for like I want to say like three years ever since COVID started so a very long time and I love them I always go back to them um but yes yeah, so that's what I did this morning and I'm gonna make a little bit of breakfast and then go on a walk with my friend Rachel before I start work today but have kind of an exciting day slash weekend so I thought I'd pick up the camera and vlog for you guys um I'm getting a new piece of furniture delivered today which I can't wait to set up I'm hoping it's not too hard to build because I really want to build it today um, and then I have all of my like artwork and picture frames hopefully being shipped out by the end of the week this week so I can start hanging those on the walls because I feel like an apartment doesn't feel like homey until you start like hanging pictures and art and stuff on the walls. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I have a couple of events I'm going to tonight and then also another event on Saturday or not an event, but I'm going to the store. Um, I'm going to the commando store on Saturday to pick out a few things. So excited for that. I'll vlog that. Um, but yeah, that's really it. So I just thought I would pick up the camera and happy to have you guys. Um, I'm going to make breakfast. I've been really, really trying to focus on protein and getting a lot of protein in right now. I'm on kind of like a health, I don't want to say journey, but like, I'm just trying to be more healthy. I'm trying to feel my best and I haven't been feeling my best the past like six months so I'm really trying to be better but anyways everyone on TikTok and everywhere I feel like lately has been saying to like make sure you're hitting your protein goals so I've been trying to eat 30 grams of protein at like every meal or more than that so that I can eat 100 grams of protein in a day which actually is a lot harder than you think but I got a few um things from Trader Joe's that I've been loving too so I'll show you guys what I got okay, so I went to Trader Joe's on Monday and I spent like 115 dollars which is nuts considering it's literally I'm, i live alone but it's fine i got all the stuff and i try to stock up at trader joe's when i go so that i don't have to like it's not like convenient to my apartment so i don't like to go all the time but my latest obsession has been these little egg bites they're like the starbucks egg bites you can get but these have cheese spinach and kale in them and you literally pop them in the microwave for a minute i don't have a microwave so i just use my air fryer um for like a couple minutes and it makes them all toasty and delish and they're pretty good for you, I feel like. They have 12 grams of protein and are only 150 calories. So not that you should be tracking your calories or anything like that, but just a really good option for breakfast. Um, and then I've also been loving, let's see if I can get it, these overnight oats. Um, I like the vanilla one. And then I also like the almond butter one. And these are like a mush dupe if you've ever had mush overnight oats. Um, these are like the exact same thing. They're like very minimal ingredients and they're a lot cheaper than the mush ones. So really been loving these. I also recently got 
So I just want to show you guys all my new finds. I love the oat brown sugar creamer. That's like my favorite creamer of all time. Um, but they had a cinnamon bun one, so I got that this time instead, and it's actually pretty good. I still like the brown sugar one better, but this one's good. So I think I'm going to have that this morning, and then I think I'm going to make overnight oats and something else for breakfast, but I'll show you what I make. Okay, so this is a breakfast, you guys. I did those almond butter overnight oats, which had 12 grams of protein peanut butter i did like a tablespoon i think that has like six or seven and then these little maple chicken sausages i just got and tried for the first time they're so good though um two of them have 10 grams of protein so not to make this like a health page but this is like my breakfast that i'm doing um when i want to get protein in especially after a workout so i'm gonna eat this and watch some youtube probably and then wait for my friend um to text me about going on a walk and I had just a much busier day than I anticipated at work and I have like my self tanning clothes on because I took a break in between meetings and self tanned really quick so I think I'm gonna start doing that and doing it during the day and just letting it sit for a couple hours before rather than like doing it before I go to sleep because I used to go to sleep with it and then I get my sheets like so gross I just hate that and I hate the feeling of sleeping in it. I'd rather just like sit in it and then shower it off a couple hours later. So I'm gonna do that and shower it off. And I need to do my hair too, but I was supposed to go to a couple events tonight, like I told you guys, and I just like don't know if I wanna go. I'm the worst, you guys. I get invited to stuff. Like honestly, like a decent amount of time, and I just like don't, I don't go. I just don't. I, it's just like, I don't want to get dressed up just to go to an event for a couple hours where like I'm gonna just like chat to people and I don't know I just feel like I'm like would much rather just stay at home by myself which is probably so bad and proves that I'm just like a hermit but I just like don't want to go all the way downtown too like it would take me 45 minutes on the subway to get down there and that just sounds like a lot so I don't know we're gonna see I'm debating what to do. I'm debating if I just like get ready really quickly and just go. I just like really don't want to. And I feel like very overwhelmed lately. I have a lot on my to-do list and I just like, I don't know you guys, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling going to the events. Especially when it's just like a fashion preview of something. Like I'm just going and I'm standing around to watch like a 30 second video. Like it's like, what's the point kind of a thing, so. I'm debating but anyways okay I will let you guys know what I do I'm gonna wash off of the self tanner I actually for the first time did like a self tanner contour I don't know if you can tell but I took my makeup brush and I like contoured my cheeks my jawline and then like a little bit on my forehead and I'm actually very into it so I hope that it stays and I'm gonna see what it ends up looking like but I think I'm gonna do that from now on because I feel like it gives a nice glow I saw acquired style on Instagram does it so I don't know but First things first, I need to hop in the shower and get this tan off of me and then do my hair and decide what I want to do. Okay, it's a little bit later. I showered off my self tanner, which honestly like didn't really stay on that well, but um, and then I gave myself a little blowout with the Dyson Airwrap. I'm hoping it stays till tomorrow. So I don't have any hairspray, so I just ordered some off of um, Amazon that'll get here tomorrow, but still need to learn how to use the Dyson Airwrap. I'm like thoroughly confused, but it's fine. We'll figure it out together. Um, I did decide I'm not going to go. I look like a crazy person. I'm so sorry. I decided I'm not going to go to the events I had tonight because I have a piece of furniture being delivered and it's still not here. It was supposed to be here at like 145. So still waiting for it. I have like a live tracker that I can track it on and it says it's like two stops away. So I'm crossing my fingers. Crossing my fingers. It's here soon because I really wanted to put it together tonight, but I might not be able to so we shall see and then I kind of wanted to go on a walk because I need to run to CBS and get a few more steps in for the day but I'm currently watching Sopranos because I am trying to get back into watching it again um I started it like last winter honestly I think I only got a few episodes into the first season so I started it back up again because I need a new show but yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna like make some dinner maybe and wait for this piece of furniture to get here 
and I have a lot of reels I want to edit, so I'm going to do all of that fun stuff, and then I'm going to plan my outfits for tomorrow morning because I'm going to go shoot with Fran, Sammy, and Jenna at Ralph's on the Upper East Side, so I will take you guys along, and that's really all she wrote. Oh my goodness, you guys. This looks a little bit complicated to put together, so... um See you guys in like three hours and wish me the best of luck. You guys, I'm so proud of myself. It's been an hour, I'm like almost halfway done, I think. Um, let me see if I can show you guys by lowering you what it looks like so far. This is everything I put together. It's really heavy though, so I'm debating and putting it in the spot that I want it to be at and then building the rest of it. I'm a little nervous that once I build it all, I'm not gonna be able to move it. So like I can barely, no, I can't. Okay, gonna continue building, you guys. Wish me luck. you guys she is done and put together only took me two hours but i'm obsessed i need to clean up this whole area obviously but she wanted to show you guys what she looked like right away i'm very happy with her i think it's a great size too because i still want to get like um two baskets i think and put it on either side that i can store stuff in so i'm glad it doesn't like cover the entire wall um and i think i'm gonna leave that lamp there for now and maybe get like I have a couple of pieces of artwork that are being shipped to me from my aunt and uncle back home, but I think I might like lean a piece of art up against it. So very excited. Or maybe even a mirror would be cute there. Um, but yeah, now I just need to clean up this whole area and probably go to bed soon. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. yet because I woke up kind of late this morning to go shoot with Fran, Franny, and Jenna. We met at Ralph's though and got some uh, coffee, um, but they have all their like Christmas decor up and their Christmas cups out, so I took a couple clips of that, um, but I was like just, just so rushed that I couldn't vlog, um, so we shot a little bit and then I've just been working ever since. It's like 4 p.m. now and I'm starting to lose on motivation um especially because it's literally already getting dark out so i wrote down a very long to-do list of things i need to get done this weekend though because it's like my last free weekend before i go home for thanksgiving and things are like just go 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 so i've got a lot i need to get done this weekend um and it's just hard because i feel like it's just like i don't know it gets so dark out and i feel like i have no motivation at night to do anything but i'm like actually gonna get stuff done tonight i really really want to work on gift guides for you guys so um, my goal is to get that done this weekend and I will link them in this video for you guys so you can always look there if you need any gift guide inspo. Um, I think I'm going to do them all on Shop My this year which isn't new for me so um, yeah I think it'll be really easy to shop though so I'm excited about that. And yeah, basically just been a very boring, low-key Friday. I've just been working, but I think we'll have a fun little Friday night at home, a solo night, so I will continue to vlog throughout the rest of the night. But I actually dice and interrupt my hair for the first time in like honestly months, and it's just so nice, like even if it doesn't have like actual like physical, like legit curls like you would with a curling iron, I really like just like the nice wave it gives, and it reminds me that I need to do it more often because I just think it gives like a really nice blowout even after I like sleep on it and stuff so I think it looks really pretty but I did just send a text to my hairdresser actually because I really want to tone my hair before this wedding to make it a little bit darker because I think just like going into um 
like fall and winter you just want it to be like a little bit darker especially with like the outfit i think i'm gonna wear i think like really dark hair would be really pretty so and like i want it to be closer to my natural hair hair color like my highlights are starting to throw shoot throw i can't talk show through again um so i just want it to be a little bit darker but we'll see if i do that myself or not that sounds like a lot and i've never once tried to do my hair by myself so maybe if she can get me in or something i can do that but yeah we'll see Okay, guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see these jeans very well, but they're from a Goldie and they're the Writer jeans. They just launched this week and they were nice enough to send them to me. So I wanted to show them to you because I think they're super fun. They're like half denim, half leather. Um, definitely size up them. We're in a 28 and that's like two sizes above my normal size in a Goldie. So, and I'm like literally like squatting over here just to like make them a little bit more comfortable and stretch them out a little bit. But they are super fun, like a um, denim leather mix i think they're really flattery on the booty and then they're like a 90s just like straight leg fit but like i think these are so fun and different for fall i think it'd be really cute just with like a white t-shirt and like an oversized brown leather jacket or like i have a brown and black leather trench coat i think it would be really cute with like a cute boot i threw on this big brown sweater over because i thought maybe it would match but i don't think it really goes um so yeah this is what they look like i will link them below for you guys okay i just ended up making tiktoks for the rest of the afternoon so now it's five o'clock and i'm done with work i'm gonna go on a little walk because i need to get my steps in i decided to have a rest day from working out because i was gonna work out like right now but i think i'm just gonna take the day off and go on a long walk instead and i might run to like ulta target I think Ulta Target and maybe like Sephora and H&M over there just to do some like light browsing and get my steps in that way. So I don't really feel like going on a walk um, anywhere else because it's about to get dark anyway. So don't want to go too far. And I kind of need to get a few things at Ulta for like um, just to stock up to have for my trip when I go home next week. Um, I just want to get like makeup wipes. I really want a brown eyeliner and brown mascara. And... Yeah, I just want to get that stuff out of the way. Oh, and then some eye patches. But I just want to get that stuff out of the way so I don't have to, like, rush and do it next week while I'm getting ready for my friend's wedding, too. So I just posted a TikTok about which outfit I should wear at the wedding. So this is going to be too late for you guys to see, but I guess that'll determine what I end up wearing. I really can't decide what I want to wear, but ugh, I don't know. I'm debating between a red dress and a black dress, and apparently someone commented on my TikTok and said that wearing red to the wedding means you, like, slept with the groom or something. I don't know, but never heard of that rule, and I feel like people wear red to weddings all the time, so I might just do it. I don't think it's bad, um, but I'm excited to show you guys what I end up wearing, so we shall see. Okay, you guys, just got back from my little walk and errand run, and I stayed true to my word. Told myself I was going to make chili tonight and just, like, treat myself and do something fun for, like, a Friday night at home, so I'm making it right now. So easy. I just did ground turkey, black beans, pinto beans, a can of diced tomatoes, chicken broth, um, a yellow onion, and then just like some seasoning. Honestly, I just do taco seasoning and then cumin. And I need to put some salt and pepper in there maybe, but that is pretty much everything I think that I put in there. It's really easy. I feel like it'll last a while. And I just got this cute little pot off Amazon for like literally $10, I think. Honestly, not the best, but it does the trick, and I needed something that was going to get here, like, today, so that's what I went for. I also realized that I never really showed you guys my new piece of furniture that I put together last night, and now, of course, it's dark again, but um, I'll show it to you tomorrow, but that's what she looks like. I put some of my stuff on there. I don't really know if that's how I'm going to style it for right now, but I just have my lamp, um, jewelry, little flowers, and all my perfumes, but I love her. She's from Value Furniture. Um, they were a dream to work with and I will link her below, but yeah, I'll show you tomorrow when you can see it better. Okay. But like I said, I did run a few little errands. I ran into, where else did I go? Ulta, where did I go? Ulta H&M. I didn't go to Sephora and then Target. I guess that's it. Ulta and Target were like insane. I didn't realize everyone like does their shopping on Friday night, but they're like very overwhelming. So I couldn't really like actually look for what I wanted. And I just like stress bought some th a few things so thought i'd do a little ulta haul and show you guys what i got but yeah i like didn't really get stuff that i actually honestly wanted so 
oh well but I did get brown mascara which I said I wanted and I got just this random one from L'Oreal Paris but I if I'm buying a drugstore mascara I always buy L'Oreal I like the L'Oreal telescopic and the L'Oreal um Lash Paradise those are my two favorite drugstore mascaras honestly I don't see that there's a huge difference in buying drugstore mascara versus like expensive mascara I would always go for the cheaper option so those two are my faves but anyways I got this one from there and it's interesting it says the brown balm mascara so it says our first balm in mascara with only essential ingredients for fuller silkier healthier looking lashes iconic volume ultimate care no compromise so it like doesn't have it says the gentle caring formula and it doesn't have like parabens or minerals anything like that so i'm excited to try this um then i also got this because it's been all over tiktok and i'm really excited to try it but it's the elf um liquid halo glow liquid filter they didn't have that many shades though so i just got medium i feel like it might be too tan for my face so i don't know we'll see tomorrow i think i'm gonna try it out tomorrow um it's 15 dollars though and like everyone says they love it and it's a dupe for the charlotte tilbury one so i wanted to try this one then i got just makeup removers which one pack of these were nine dollars i should have shorted off amazon i don't know why i did that but it's fine i need them for traveling next week and then it looks like they gave me a little sample Oh wait, that's so funny. They gave me a number one to Chanel serum. That's actually very funny because numero on Chanel. This is one of my products. So that's a very, it's like such a small world. Oh, and it smells delicious. Okay, sorry. Then I came home and I got a random package. I'm not really sure what this is. If I ordered something or if someone was sending something to me. So I figured let's open it together. We can see what it is. I don't think I ordered anything though. I feel like this must be something from PR. Oh! Oh my god, good. I'm so excited this got here. So I like really was worried about the deadline on this. Um, I am working with Mark Jacobs on a campaign and they sent me a bag that I have to shoot and thankfully I'm actually shooting with Jenna tomorrow morning so this is like actually perfect timing. That's what she looks like you guys. Just a nice neutral canvas tote bag. I really like the color because it will be easy to match with things. Um, so I got to pick out my outfit that I want to shoot this with tomorrow but so cute for work. We love Marc Jacobs. I have been wanting one of his camera bags actually for a long time. Or I used to really want one. Haven't looked at them in a while, but so cute. Very good work bag. I like this would fit my laptop perfectly. It has a lot of different compartments. I like that it's like very like sturdy and like heavy. Like, and, like my bag that I'm using right now for work is like a soft leather and I feel like I'm ruining it every time I throw stuff in it. So like this would be a really good dupe. And then, not dupe, but like a better option and then it comes with a nice little black um crossbody bag too so yay so excited can't wait to shoot this tomorrow i'll definitely show you guys what outfit i wear with it um but my chili is smelling like it's coming along great so i'm excited for that and i think i'm gonna pick out a movie i want to watch and we have a long list of to do so let's get to it Okay, just saying you guys how delicious does this look? Just doing some computer work for the rest of the night and watching To Win a Day with Tad Hamilton. This is like one of my all time favorite movies when I was younger. If you haven't watched it, it's on Amazon Prime. It's like just so wholesome and cute, so I recommend. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. Just woke up and I just got done doing a quick Sammy Clark workout, even though I look like I literally just rolled out of this bed, but my ponytail kind of went crazy during that workout. Um, it is currently 8.30 and it just feels so good. I say it every time, so I don't know why I like have to keep repeating it, but like it feels so good to wake up early on a Saturday and like have my workout done by 8.30. It's just like waking up not hungover on the weekend is like life changing, so maybe that's what adulting means, but I really need to ice roll my face because the bags under my eyes lately, like they're so bad. But anyways, I'm watching some YouTube vlogs, just made breakfast after working out, and then I'm going to throw some makeup on, do my hair, 
I need to pick out my outfit still for shooting this morning with Jenna, but that is pretty much all that's on the agenda this morning. I need to leave here in like an hour, so we kind of need to start her. But this is what I did for breakfast. I think I showed you guys um, already, but I love these egg bites from Trader Joe's. They're egg whites, um, spinach, and cheese, and then these maple chicken sausage things from Trader Joe's are also really good. Really trying to focus on getting protein in, in the morning, especially after I work out, so... This is like 22 grams of protein, I think. Apparently, I like never run on time anymore. And living so far uptown does not help me. So I'm on my way to meet Jenna. I'm running like 20 minutes late. Woo! Hey you guys, we are at the Commando store trying a few things on, picking out a few ready to wear pieces and then a few intimates. And this is one of the intimates pieces I picked out. It's like this really nice chocolate brown turtleneck bodysuit. The material is like literally the softest, most comfiest material I've ever tried on. I'm gonna get it in black too because I love it that much. And then I got these in like leather flare pants, which I think are really cute too. I just have a boot on this leg to see what they look like, but I think they're really fun. Okay, just tried on this super long, like, form-fitting black dress. I love the sleeves, and I think it's so fun. It, like, really sucks you in. It's a little bit long for me, so I'd have to wear a tall boot or either get it hemmed, but really cute and really, really flattering. Hello, you guys. It's a little bit later. I have just been shopping around Soho after meeting up with Jenna. We shot two outfits. I, although I was like struggling to like get into it, so I don't know if I like the one that I shot, but we'll see. And then we have the commando store, which I think I bought a little bit in there. And they're sending me the slugs so I can show you guys later. But I just got a dirty oat chai tea from Gasoline Alley Coffee. And I'm gonna go return a few things from Cezanne, and then I'm gonna head back to my apartment because I feel like it's already so late in the day. It's like 1 30, and I have a lot of stuff I wanted to get done at home got home you guys and I don't even know what I've been doing for the past like hour I think I got home at like 2 45 so yeah it's been an hour it's like 3 45 now but I've just been like I literally just like got home and needed to like decompress because I left my apartment at like 9 30 didn't get back till 2 30 so it's just like a long day of being out and about shot two outfits with Jenna got coffee when we went to Commando I went into Zara Levi's like manga I just like did so much and popped into so many different places so I needed to like decompress you know I needed like silent alone time um but I just got back and I'm gonna really quickly film a few TikToks hopefully and like video content before it gets too dark out I don't know if it is the lighting's like nice right now but I mean the sun literally sets in an hour which is nuts but um I wanted to show you guys a few things that I got and yeah oh and I'm gonna show you my piece of furniture right now because it's um the lighting's good
vlog today or not, but it is Sunday night. It's like only 5 p.m., but it's so dark out. Um, but I had a whole day of shooting content. I met up with Anastasia this morning and we shot a couple outfits on the Upper East Side, but we also caught up for like two hours getting coffee, which is really nice. And then I came home to my apartment and I filmed a fall wardrobe like capsule video on YouTube. So I'm really excited for that, which will probably go up after this vlog or it'll be up when you guys are watching this. Um, and then I just took a really long like hour walk through Central Park because I wanted to go see the foliage at sunset and it was so stunning. I took a couple clips for you guys. Um, and then I all of a sudden spurred the moment decided to book a facial on Glow Bar. So I'm about to walk in and I will show you guys what my skin looks like after, but I'm very excited because of a wedding on Saturday. And I have a wedding on Saturday, but then the welcome party on Friday too. So I have um, like a whole, I'm doing a spray tan, facial, nails, the whole thing. Okay, I forgot to take any YouTube video content in there, but I did take stuff for TikTok. So go look at my TikTok if you want to see what it was like in there. But I am very happy with my results. I feel like I look very glowy and hydrated. Um, I'm walking home and it's kind of loud, so I'll talk to you guys when I get home about like what tips she gave me and stuff though, but like I feel like my skin looks so much better. Hey guys, it's a little bit later, but I just got home from my facial a couple hours ago and I just have been like kind of, I picked up the apartment a little bit more um made dinner just had some leftover chili from the other night and pretty much it i'm editing my pictures right now and i need to edit a bunch of youtube videos and like tiktoks that i made that's what i do on the weekend i feel like i take a ton of content and then it takes me forever to edit those so like i need to get better to, about doing it on a sunday night but i have a lot of different things i'm trying to work and finish right now so it's like 8 30 I'm gonna work for another like hour I think while watching the Sopranos and then be done but I just wanted to say my facial went really well this is not the best lighting to see it in but very hydrated we just focused on like brightening and hydrating my skin she did a few different things um which I can't remember them all but I know she did like a lactic acid peel then she did use this tool to like She's this tool with water to get all of like the oil and like dirt out of my skin. And then she did, what else? Oh, then she's another tool that like was like zapping or burning away all of the bacteria in my skin. She did an LED light treatment, red and blue light. And then they did a hydrating um, mask. And I think that was pretty much it, but it felt so good. Hot tip if you're in New York, or actually I think they have the glow bar in multiple places, but I think maybe New York and LA I know of for sure, but it's honestly a really inexpensive facial. Usually I feel like facials are like a lot of money, but this was only $75. And if you get a monthly membership, it's $55 a month, which honestly I was considering doing. So I feel like that's not bad at all. Um, and I really need to start taking better care of my skin. I was talking to my friend after and I was like, I will spend like so much money on clothes or like a purse or, um, just like, yeah, like clothes, going out to eat, going out to restaurants, like drinks, like things like that. But then like when it comes to things that I know will like help or not, I know will help, but when it comes to things that are like, I don't even know how to explain it, but like, like self care type things, like a facial or a massage or like a sauna or I don't know, I'm trying to think what else, like getting a haircut. Actually, I'm pretty good about getting a haircut, but I don't know, just like random like wellness self-care things that I know will always make me feel better, but like I will not spend money on that. Like I just feel like it's like such a waste of money. Like I have pretty much never gotten a massage in my life because I just like feel like I never want to spend the money on it, but I know that like that would be so helpful and probably make me feel my best, especially if I was getting like a facial every month. I feel like that would just make me feel like glowy and nice and like, I don't know, it would just be an, an extra little added bonus, but so just food for thought, but I don't know why I want that spiel, but, um, anyways, yeah, so I will just be finishing up the rest of the night and then going to bed, so I wanted to end off this weekend vlog here and say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new content.